really simple way of calculating powers of 11, 11 cubed, 11 to the 5, whatever you want, from Pascal's triangle. Now, I'm not sure how important it is to be able to calculate high powers of 11, but the point really is that Pascal's triangle contains all of these interesting artifacts. And I remember when I first saw this, I thought this was kind of a neat result, and the more I thought about it, the more ordinary in a sense I <laughs> thought it was. But actually, this tells you something about the process of mathematics as well. You know, really uh, uh, what it's about is, you know, taking these things that initially perhaps look quite complicated and, and realizing through an understanding of the structure of the numbers uh, and, and the logical arguments that it is actually something relatively straightforward. So I hope uh, you will uh, enjoy it and I hope you'll also by the end of it realize that um, it's quite a simple uh, argument but also a very powerful one. So Pascal's triangle is full of so many amazing things. Um, here's one that's quite interesting. You might have noticed that when you start writing out Pascal's triangle, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, um, that the numbers in each row, so like 1, 1 here is just 11, uh, 1, 2, 1, if I wrote it out as a number, 1, 2, 1, that's 11 squared. You can check that 1, 3, 3, 1 is 11 cubed, and 1, 4, 6, 4, 1 is 11 to the power of 4. Of course, we've also got 11 to the 1 is, uh, sorry, 11 is just 11 to the 1, and even the first row here, or the, sometimes we call it the zero row, uh, 1 is actually 11 to the 0. Um, so why do we get this feature? It's actually fairly easy to explain. If you think about expanding 10 plus 1 to the power of n as if it was a binomial expansion, right? So imagine we were doing uh, like a plus b cubed, we know we get a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. Check out my other video on binomial expansions if you need to get to this point. Um, and if you substitute in a equals 10 and b equals 1, well look you just get 10 cubed plus 3 times 10 squared times 1, but we don't need to put the 1's in, right? So b is 1, all the b terms are going to drop out here and I get plus 3 times 10 and then plus 1. Well, this is just exactly how we write things out uh, as place value, right? Uh, 3 times 10 is a 30, so that's a, a 3 here, and I've got a 1 that's just a 1, so 3 times 10 squared, that's 300, I get a 3 here in the number, 10 cubed, just a 1,000, so that becomes the number 1331. And actually, you can see very easily, because you know if I did this with a plus b to the power of 4 as well, or if I do it with you know, 10 plus 1 to the power of 4, I get the same thing. I get 10 to the power of 4 plus 4 times 10 cubed plus 6 times 10 squared plus 4 times 10 plus 1. So you see exactly those um, uh, coefficients of the in Pascal's triangle become the digits of the number. Um, now it does break down just a little bit if we go beyond this, right? Because if I look at the next row of Pascal's triangle, I would get 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. Um, so the corresponding result here is that you know, 11 to the power of 5 is 10 to the 5 plus 5 times 10 to the 4 plus 10 times 10 to the 3 plus 10 times 10 squared plus 5 times 10 to the 1 plus 1. So the fact that these numbers are getting bigger than 10 means that they're not exactly the digits. But if you sort of think of it like a number, it's got 1, 5, this is a digit 10, this is a digit 10, this is a digit 5 and 1, and just think about carrying, right, so actually this uh, 10 here, uh, rather than being in a 10 to the 3 column, I need to move its first digit, the 1, into the 10 to the 4 column, right, so I'd get 1, 6, I would have a 0 here, but of course I'm also going to pull a 1 from this other 10 into here to get 1, and then 0, 5, 1, and that gives me 11 to the power of 5. If I do one more, the next row in Pascal's triangle here is 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1, so we could kind of do the same thing. I'll just put a circle around those numbers that we're kind of thinking of uh, as digits as we do it, Right, so we'll get 11 to the power of 6 is 1, the 15 I carry a 1 here, and I'm, and I'm left with a, a 5, but I carry a 2 from the 20 to make 7. I've got a 0, but I carry a 1 from the 15 to get 1, and then I get 5, 
6, 1, and that's 11 to the power of 6. So you can, you know, compute the uh, other powers, higher powers of 11 relatively quickly from Pascal's triangle as well, but you just have to think about those digits. So there we go. Hope that was interesting. See you in the next video.